and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Estee and I make fitness and lifestyle content. So today's video, we're bringing it back to the fitness. Obviously, we've just arrived to Phuket, where we will be here for the next month. And this is the month now to get back on our fitness game, relying less on street food, no matter how wonderful it is, you know, it is cooked in a lot of um, oils and stuff like that. And more so get back into eating nutritious, delicious food. So today's video is a bit of a reset day, aka let's get our shit together kind of day. So as you've seen this morning, I, to be fair, I'm actually quite proud of myself but I've been really enjoying my morning cardio. Um, and this morning I actually went to my gym and did some Stairmaster. Normally I just go in the apartment gym and do a little bit of bike. But you know what? The half an hour humbled me. So I literally just showered, washed my hair. Um, I can't train at the minute. I have to not train for three days because I've literally recently got a mole removed instead i've still been doing my cardio i've still been doing my steps i wanted to include in this video like what you can still control even if you can't go to the gym anymore like i obviously i'm an online fitness coach if you didn't know and i coach women and a lot of the time a lot of women do tend to go into panic mode if life happens and all of a sudden they can't attend the gym for that day or like they I don't know a child's fallen ill and they can't go to the gym like that doesn't mean that you completely fall off the bandwagon so this video i will kind of go through what i do just to kind of stay on track stay in the right direction towards my goals first things first i'm gonna go and get myself a little coffee um we are blessed because where am i staying literally like two seconds away from the entrance to the building there's like a street vendor who sells they sell like freshly made smoothies and freshly made coffee secured the coffee and do you know what today is a hot one like i actually think it's the hottest day so far like by a mile so it's about 36 degrees today and on the weather app on your phone it literally says it literally says it feels like 45 and guys i'm a pale gal think I can hack weather like that. No. Do some work. Today is a client check-in. So I actually will talk you through some of the check-ins today because it's like one of my favourite things to do ever. Because you know what? My girls work really bloody damn hard. And I just want to boast about them. common and this is extremely extremely common thing that i see with so many women is their goal is to lose fat straight away they go slap bang in a really harsh calorie deficit they do shit loads of cardio and then they're like well i'm not making progress my body isn't reacting now this is literally what this client of mine experienced now she's only been with me for three weeks. When she came to me, she was literally eating like 1,400 calories, and now she's eating 1,800 calories, but she is looking leaner, she's looking more defined, and look, this is what I mean. So this is what she looked like before. So this was her eating very, very little calories, doing a lot of cardio, and this is her doing less exercise and eating more food and prioritizing weight training and this 
is two weeks apart, which is absolutely crazy. You can already see the changes in her legs. Her arms are a lot more defined. If you are a female and you're watching this and perhaps your goal is to lose fat, but you are literally, you're not making any progress. You're not really sure what's going on. The chances are you've gone too harsh too soon. But yeah, a little bit of advice from me is to just start off small and then you can always get more aggressive with your calorie deficit as you progress with your diet. Like there is absolutely no point in going zero to 100 then struggling to adhere to that because it's such a big change and then literally not getting any form of consistency okay if you do need help with this i do have spaces for females to join my online coaching team so if you are interested and you're not sure whether your goal is to build muscle whether it's to get ready for a wedding a holiday lose body fat i am here to help link to join my coaching is in the link in the description but but yeah that is a really really good example of sometimes you need to eat a little bit more and prioritize weight training over cardio to start seeing progress. When people want to start a fitness journey and they want to become healthier, they want to feel better in their own skin, constraint of time. Oh, I don't have enough time. Oh, I'm really busy. I've got so much going on with work. It's not the right time. There's never going to be a right time. You're always going to have things coming in the way. You're always going to be busy. It's just about making time. Like, and I'm not saying you have to completely flip your life around and all of a sudden go to the gym six times a week, get 20,000 steps in a day, because that's not realistic. Now, a really great example is I'm gonna show you one of my clients and she literally was this person before she came to me. She is a nurse, she works days and nights. She's currently even going through um, a blooming divorce. Like and she's literally completely and utterly transformed not just her life but her confidence and her physique like let me show you was when she first started with me as you can see she was quite watery quite bloated not really fueling herself properly and this is her now like the difference in that is incredible and she's only been with me for three months the best time to join is when you're literally busy. You've got everything going on, personal life is crazy because then you're gonna acclimatize yourself to the busy life. So you're gonna have everything in order and when things quieten down, when life isn't as stressful, you're gonna find it 10 times easier because you're already used to getting shit done alongside chaos in life. Right friends, so as part of the get shit together day, I have done a food shop and I mean, what I mean by that is I've done a food delivery. Now, if you are coming to Thailand, specifically if you're in Phuket, Bangkok, all the big areas, then you will be able to get your food delivered with macro, which is basically like a Thailand's equivalent of Costco. And I just, I just cannot believe what I've just experienced. Can't, I, hang on, we need to debrief. So this food shop cost me 55 pounds okay now granted most of it is literally frozen goods and like protein you get about on scooters and it's best to get your big bulk shop done online and obviously get delivered because obviously transportation is not really possible unless you've got a car anyway that's not the point i get a phone call and i'm like who on earth is this bear in mind I placed the delivery this morning at 9 a.m. It's now literally five to four, and they and they came and rang me at 20 to four. Now the delivery slot was four to eight, so I'm naturally not expecting them at all. And I get a phone call. I'm like, who on earth is this? And bless her, she obviously didn't speak a lot of English. And she goes, two minutes. I'll be here in two minutes. And I was like, who are you? And she didn't understand that. And I was like, well, what? Who is coming to my gap in two minutes? Turns out it was them guys. They came in a van and they came with a trolley, a full on trolley and boxes. They came in the lift with me. I kid you not, they literally unloaded everything and put it into the gaff. I didn't have to lay a finger. Sorry. 
What level of service is that? I'm literally shocked. I can't believe what I've just experienced. I was I expecting that? Absolutely not. Anyway, I thought I'd show you what I got. Right, so the first thing I ordered was a whole tub of Greek yogurt. It's natural yogurt. Low fat, what's it called? Low fat, live actic and bacterial culture. Literally this, I love this stuff. Then we got a big, what is this, two litres? Yeah, two litre carton of milk. This is the low fat version of the milk. Two, two litres, so four litres of egg whites, which can't go wrong, I feel like this. Oh, when I go to Bali, I am gonna miss how readily available egg whites are here. Some eggs, speaking of eggs, we've got more eggs. Um, there's 30 here. Avocado, there's a kilo here. Got some cereal. Oh, he'll be pleased to know that. It's a big box, not a small box. I don't really eat cereal, but he will be very pleased with that. Wheat Bix, so we got that as well. Two packs of big ones and then two packs of smaller ones. Frozen spinach and salmon. Look at all that. There's 900 grams of salmon here. Sick. We got some frozen mixed berries. And then we got some frozen chicken breasts. And then we got some frozen chicken mints. meal that I always have, it's my hyper fixation right now, it's egg whites with two eggs and three rice cakes with cottage cheese. Now, I can't lie to you guys, I literally have a hyper fixation on cottage cheese right now. I don't know whether it's like because it's a bit more like fancy schmancy, I'm telling you I'm like almost addicted, like I literally look forward to some rice cakes with a bit of cottage cheese on it. That's when you know. <laughs> So when you know you're hyper fixated on something. This meal it just be so full for like hours because what I do is I literally go to a cafe and I do some work and by the time I come home I'm like just getting hungry. So honestly do not underestimate the power of high protein and a, a higher fat breakfast because it will keep you full for ages. Thank me later. So my second meal of the day, <laughs> this is the beauty of being in Thailand, um, is courtesy of Pure Prep Meals. Very basic, I'll show you in a minute. Ah, that's bloody hot. I've literally just been at a cafe, I've been working away, and I'm not gonna lie, I, I'm too hungry to even think about making food. So normally I would have had something meal prepped, but a company's done that for me this time around. So let me show you. Let me show you what I've got. Sweet potato, some chicken, and I've, I have whacked some barbecue sauce because it looks a little bit dry, I can't lie. I'm literally just going to yam this. Get it down, mate. work interlude i can't lie you know when you start to like dwindle away and like you just can't focus on one thing that's me so the great thing about thailand is how cheap the coffees are if you know me you'll know that i'm a caffeine addict i'm a big caffeine addict when an americano from a coffee shop costs one pound how can you not have coffee every single day? One, one pound. Why on earth? And also it's fucking delicious. Like it is unreal coffee. Why on earth? Places in the UK charging an extortionate amount. Like I, I remember before we came here, 
we were paying five pounds. Actually, no, for an Americana, it was, Americana is more like three pound fifty. Still, three pound fifty for basically pond water. UK honestly needs to sort it out. Honest to God, there are third world countries that are doing a better job with better quality, better quality coffee. Anyway, I'm rambling about coffee because that's that's the key to my heart. That, that, that is the the key to my heart. Um, I just wanted to quickly interlude this video as well by showing you my new nails because I'm sorry. How fucking cute are they? Hang on, I need to give them full glory. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, look at them, bad boys. Gone for little, gone for little cherries. Little baby pink French tip with cherries on it. Look at me being adventurous with my nail art these days. Oh, gone are the days where I just get a white tip and be done with it. Although, I can't lie, I think the next set is going to be a French tip because I feel like that's my personality. But, these are fucking cute. I think they're great. Good morning, good good life, good morning. Even if you take a week off the gym, it isn't going to kill your progress. So long as you're not an asshole with your food. A lot of people like, get into the bad habit of like going, oh God, I have to go to the gym. Whereas now, that's been taken away from you and you go, oh my God, like that is such a privilege. I get to move my body, like how amazing. I'm so grateful. And I always feel like it's really nice to have those moments where the reality of it hits. A lot of people, like when I say to them, go and track on my fitness pal, they go, oh, I'm just gonna eat something different every single day. And like, unless you have the time to do that, don't do it. Give yourself like different like dinner ideas if you want to, maybe alternate between three. Um, and then just literally keep your like breakfast and lunches, etc., the same. Because then it's just, you're gonna save money on your food shop. But also you don't have to fucking think of different ideas every five seconds, do you know what I mean? So what you just, what you just watched there, that was like a little um, insight into one of my client check-ins. And this girl, so basically she got an injury. So she got a knee injury and she was actually really worried about not being able to train in terms of it ruining her progress. I advised her to go with the mindset of focusing on the things that she can control, which ultimately, especially when you have an injury, is food and the amount of food that you eat and the quality of food that you eat. So she literally spent the whole week in just that. She still managed to get 6,000 steps in, granted. Not her usual 12,000 that she normally would do. And even just by the virtue of doing something, she has sustained and maintained her progress from the week before. And this is literally a little reminder to you who is watching this video. If you are an all or nothing person and something gets in the way, do not throw the towel in. Sometimes doing something is better than doing sweet fuck all. Um, and ultimately, small steps in the right direction are still steps in the right direction. And you need to remind yourself that. There are gonna be some weeks where you're not able to go and train. There are gonna be some weeks where you fall ill. That does not matter. Keep on doing something. Free advice for you. You're welcome. <laughs> this don't look that great but check out my instagram i'll give you a little sneak peek here these are yogurt bites mango yogurt bites covered in dark chocolate and when i say to you it's the most delicious high protein snack i literally can't i can't even lie mm. anyone else do a happy dance when they're happy with their food or is it just me being an absolute weirdo well, if you have a sweet um, tooth like myself, highly recommend checking out my Instagram, checking out my reel on how to make these. <laughs> now and i'm gonna have my final meal which is my absolute favorite right now and that is salmon with rice and veg i know it's very very simple but this is very realistic a day in the life of what i'm eating because i'm a lazy girl when it comes to cooking i used to be that girl that would spend hours in the kitchen but now 
I would quite frankly do other things that are actually a bit more substantial and a bit more important. So that is what I call proper salmon. None of that weird, God knows what you get in the UK. Hello folks. So that is a wrap up of today's video. A little bit of a mixed bag, but it is a very accurate representation of what it's like living in Phuket when you are a fitness fitness gal. One thing I just want to like touch on and I've actually had this conversation with a few people is how strange it feels to like not need to consistently like travel to new places, go and see the sights and see like do like the proper travel stuff because obviously we're literally living like and our day-to-day -day life involves the gym, involves meal prepping, involves um, working, like, as our life. And it is so hard to, like, think about that we're, like, living in a hot country where it, it does kind of feel like you're on holiday. I first felt really guilty for not, like, wanting to do loads and loads of exploring um, because like especially with thailand it is humongous and there's so much to see we will definitely be returning again like there's like that innate pressure to think oh my god like i feel bad i feel like i'm wasting my time if i'm not gonna go and travel we've got all the time to do that right now like we are just so focused on growing our businesses getting back into the swing of fitness and going to the gym and just essentially getting back into the swing of a routine because just before we moved out of the UK we spent six months in like living between both of our parents so sometimes we'll be at my boyfriend's parents sometimes at mine sometimes we were like separate at each other's and anyone who like has had a similar situation you will agree with me when I say this like it's really, really nice to be in your childhood home until you have to be productive and you work from home and there's not really like your space to do that we just found it really difficult to just do what we need to do like being at our parents house so to be honest with you like we just love being a hermit uh, yeah that's a little ramble i don't know why i told you that but there we go if you liked this video please don't forget to leave a nice little like for me and also if you're feeling extra generous don't forget to subscribe for future content and without further ado i'll see you in the next video bye